to Folk from the Boat episode 61. I hope you are very well this week and I have some exciting news this week and I also have something that is, I hope, fun for, for you to do. So I shall go on to the news first and the news is that I um, am making an album and uh, it's just going to be mixed and mastered so it's going to be coming out um, I think in about March time, I don't have an exact date, but it's it's going to be coming out soon. So I, I will keep you updated on it. And uh, oh, and let's, uh, I'm going to make uh, the screen change now. And, uh, and we're going to have the front cover. I hope you're looking at it. Yeah, <laughs> cool. So you can see, uh, I decided to call it Anchoress, which um, is a cool word for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, because I live on a boat, so Anchoress seems a really nice, nice word and uh, the other reason I chose it was about isolation because isolation is something that we've all been dealing with um, in many ways in the past year and it's an album that was uh, written and recorded in, uh, in isolation but I haven't felt so isolated, I felt incredibly lucky this year basically because I've got all of, all of you who are watching and I'm so grateful to have that connection so it got me to think about, um, this year got me thinking about people who choose to go into isolation. And in the medieval times, an anchoress was a woman who chose uh, religiously to go into isolation in a church. So she would be um, like in a, a room on the outside of a parish church and she would she would be walled in there. She She chose to to live her religious life in this way. So she would go in and she would, I mean, they sometimes had, um, you know, people people would feed them, you know, <laughs> and, uh, and she would have some windows that went into the church and also out into the community. So she was called an anchoress, not because of anything to do with boats, but because she was considered like the anchor, the re anchor of the church and of the community. And people would come and tell her their problems and she would pray for them and, so in this way, you have this window out that um, that allows for a lot of communication and, and in a way for her to be the heart, the anchor of it. Men did do this as well and they were called anchorites, but there were a lot more women who, who chose this life. Um, so that's something I thought I thought was interesting because it's been a little bit the same that we've all had these digital windows this year in order to communicate with each other. So. Anchorous. Okay, and onto my um, ah yeah, the fun thing. Okay, so this week I wrote two tunes, and I would like you to name them because I can't think of names for them. So I'll tell you a little bit about them. I'm going to play them on cello now, and the first tune is uh, it starts a little bit seriously, <laughs> and uh, and then it gets a bit more fun. So I'm hoping with these tunes it's going to be a bit like 2021 that it's it's starting a bit serious, but Hopefully, it's going to get more fun later. And so it's, uh, it's it sounds a little bit 18th, it's like an 18th century folk tune. It's a little bit of Scandi in it, I think, as well. And then the second tune is in five time, in five four. And one of the more fun things I've done was once a five four waltz. I'm not, I'm not like a, a brilliant dancer, but I love to dance. And this was really fun to go whirling around waltzing in five times. So I've written quite a fast uh, five, five, four waltz for you. So please, on the comments, can you uh, write your suggestions and I will then change the name of the episode so that we get some names for the tunes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 